Hey guys, Jax here, Free Auto Mechanic. Uh, got a, a update on our rocker panels that we did a month or so ago. Had a few people had some questions on it. Uh, Ray Massius was one in particular. Was curious to know if uh, the covers went all the way down and covered the pinch welds, or if they went past the pinch welds. So we'll take a closer look at that here in a moment. But uh, so far, I've been pretty pleased with them. Running through the car wash, haven't noticed any extra moisture being held underneath there. I am still kind of curious as how the snow is going to affect it, but uh, it's 60 some degrees out. Snow's coming, but probably not for another month or so, so I'll try and update you again then. All right, so now we're down underneath the truck here. I guess these are the pinch welds that he was talking about. You can see where they come down and everything's put together right here. And mine are pretty flush. Get a better angle there. But mine stay pretty flush here. You can see that there's no tape sticking, but they're so well formed that they pretty much stay. That's the back part. The front looks like there's it's pretty close to the same here toward the front. I can get up here. Looks like there's a maybe a quarter an eighth of an inch. On the front part, all in all, not much. I'm sure that you can tell the video. There's a little better picture for you. But not not much of a, a lip at all. I guess you could carve that off with a knife. I, that little bit there doesn't make that big issue to me I mean, if you're going to have snow on top of the pinch weld or here i'm not sure if it's going to make a difference but we'll find out we'll see if snow gets thrown up on there or not let me look from a different angle here now here's the front this would be more of a concern area for myself right in here you can see the the tape isn't really adhering. Uh, there was a couple of guys that mentioned that they added a screw. They put a screw right in here and drove that through some stainless steel. But I still think that you might get some snow accumulation right here. Uh, my truck has running boards so when the snow comes up off of the tire, it kind of sticks in this area anyway. So it might not be an issue for myself. As you can see, it kinda, it's kind of blocked. But I haven't found the need to put screws in mine. But it stays nice and snug. I don't hear any flapping around. But I guess it just depends on what happens with the snow, whether it makes it freeze and swell up and pop open. Not sure, but I'll let you know on that. I also want to address a couple of comments. Uh, people had some concerns about the potential of the panels just coming off, driving down the road. Uh, the way that they're molded, they come up and snap on. You can see the molding here and the front piece, the molding here. It's virtually impossible for them to come off going down the road. And I'll show you why. You shut the door. The door actually, the bottom edge is right up against this panel. And it holds it nice and snug. Now, don't know if you can tell. 
you can see this line right here on the plastic. When you shut the door, that's where it's riding. And it's also gonna cause the moisture and water that runs down to continue running down and off. So hopefully that addresses any of your thoughts about the panels being able to come off. Uh, I've run it through the car wash, I've driven it down the road. Uh, I won't say that I've gone over 75 miles an hour in it, but, but haven't had any, any concerns or problems with it. Doesn't make any flapping noises, anything like that at this time. Hopefully that addresses some of the concerns and questions that you've had uh, about the rocker panels. Uh, I'm still pretty happy with them. Uh, if you've got any other questions or concerns, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. Thanks for watching.